Heartbreak. It hasn't really sunk in yet. Chaos. 31. Structure fire. 25285. And destruction. First responders arrived within minutes of the initial 911 call, but it was too late. Flames were shooting up probably about 60 feet when I got here. The fire already had its grip on this Lavinia Avenue house and wasn't letting go. I've uh, often wondered what people felt like when their, all of their belongings were gone. But um, now I know. Homeowner John Grace and his wife were celebrating the 4th at a friend's house in Lillian when a neighbor called and gave them the horrible news. Tragedy because you have a lifetime of accumulations, pictures and things like that, you know, and they're they're all gone. The Graces lost everything in the fire, including the family dog, a husky named Z. He was like a family member. I almost would rather it have been me than the dog. Oh. Knocking down the fire was a priority tonight. My guy's hearts are out there and uh, sometimes it hurts, but you still got to do it. Tomorrow, the focus will shift to finding out where and how the fire started. Someone had uh, said that uh, someone was shooting fireworks close by. I seen some fireworks being discharged. Doug Vargas was working at a nearby construction site when the fire broke out. Being how today is the 4th of July, there's a probability that it is fireworks. But uh, like, I'm not a detective and I can't say for sure. Vargas showed us discharged fireworks just a few feet from the burning structure. You gotta wonder, I mean, put two and two together, you get fire. Can you take that? Alberta's assistant fire chief isn't sure how the fire started. No, sir, uh, that will be up to a fire marshal. An investigation John Grace and his wife hope will give them some answers. I'm hoping that something is salvageable, but, um, but it probably isn't. I haven't really gone around to see what the back looks like.